Where do you think I should uh, use the TNT first? Like, I, I, just hypothetically, if I were to use it anywhere, right, where should I use it? Most likely in settling a conflict, or at least just ending it. You know what? I just remembered something I put here earlier. I'd recommend getting off that hill. It's more explosives, isn't it? Hmm? It's more explosives, isn't it? I mean, why Why would you think it would be more explosives? Because you're holding a flint and steel. Yeah, I'd back up if I were you. It was more explosives. Mm -hmm. And there's still more over there, actually. Believe it or not. Actually, there should be some... Here, yep. There we go. Are you sure you want the person who took that first stack? Uh, no, why would I do that? Uh, this TNT right here. Uh, well, that's not a stack, so. I did put this here, though. Do you remember where you got the TNT from? Uh, I made it. Fair enough. I mean, where else would I get it from? I mean, as in, do you actually remember making it, or is that just something? Like, did you make it in that kind of dream half state, which may or may not be another person possessing your body? No, 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 I put all this here, I put all this here. Okay. That works. Yeah, I am gonna be honest with you, though. I don't really remember, um... Like, I remember, like, a chunk of about maybe half the day, and then I don't remember, like, meeting up with you or anything, I just kind of remember walking around. Like, last thing I remember is being in that room over there. Interesting. What? Nothing. Just thinking. I mean, is it something important? Because if it is, you should probably speak up. I'm not entirely sure how to articulate it. Uh, well, I mean, it would, you should probably try if it's that important. I mean, if it's not important, then I probably don't care. So, you don't really remember anything that happened, like, the, of our interactions before we went into the room with all the TNT in it? Nope. But yet you somewhat do, because... You talked about how, how you knew it wasn't... It, I'm trying to remember what you said before and after that. that I definitely noticed quite a sudden change in your personality as soon as you entered that room. And quite frankly I saw the red flags of another person being you. Listen, 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 listen. If if I was in if before if before I was in that room, right? If I was talking about uh, I don't know. If if I, 
I'm gonna be honest with you, if I was acting weird, it was probably before I went in there and not after. Before you went in there, you are a lot more cautious about things. It's not... Yeah, no, that's not like me at all. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about, uh, if I was acting different before. I mean, it's an issue I'll probably deal with and get rid of in the future. Yeah, it's just deciding which side of the coin you land on, really. Listen, if if I was acting all like whatever passive and what like that's not me at all, man. I I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. To be honest, something I'm working on. I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen anymore. It's weird, I kind of like half remember things from, uh, from being in that room. Like, I remember being in there for a little while, and then things got kind of fuzzy until, you know, the hotel. Yeah. You, you did remember some of our interaction initially, because... We first, when we interacted before we went into the group, you, we figured out you could actually teleport other people to you as well. Oh, I told you about that. Oh, I, pr I was not supposed to do that. Okay, I'll remember next time. Yeah, no, I don't remember any of that. Uh, you don't? Hmm. You know, I, I'm sorry, I just- I, I get a little weird sometimes, you know, it, it happens. I'm- I'm yeah, working on it. I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah. I mean, was there anything else, like, Im important that was said, or... Was that the extent I of mean, it? I mean, we discussed your various summoning and ghost powers, but... Oh, wow, that, okay. No, really. Great, great, great. Yeah, I told that person yourself to keep that quiet as well. That was just. Yeah, no, I was supposed to not. About that. Very weird that I made the choice to talk about that, to be honest. Yeah, I advise them to keep quiet about it to strangers. And just people in general, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, um, because, I mean, I was probably pretty out of it before. Uh, the other one's the bad one. The one that you were initially talking to, that's the bad one. We don't, we don't like him. Okay. And I'm trying to keep him quiet, to say the least. So, the one who isn't obsessed with violence and explosives is the bad one. Yeah, well, he's dangerous in other ways. Yeah, well... Everyone's dangerous in other ways, it's just... Caliber. Yeah, he's the worst one, though. Grass is always greener, blocks always redder. Uh, w would you mind? I'm, I'm gonna, uh, run back to, uh, the room with all the explosives. I'm just taking a little trip over there to see if, uh, see if I left something there. Very quiet. Are you thinking about something? Yeah. Somewhat. I'm usually quite quiet. 
Yeah, I, I, I need to see if, uh, if I left something in this room. Okay, glad that's still here. I don't think I actually asked before, but what's your name? Question that shouldn't be hard yet somehow is. Yeah. Mine's Creeper, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, name wise, don't know if I'm at a point where I should tell you or not. That seems like information that shouldn't really be that private. Like, that seems like kind of surface level. Oh yeah, well. As long as you know where I am, what I'm doing, whatever else, it shouldn't really matter. I tend, I tend to not use names much anyway, just... Yeah, uh, if you do want me to be honest with you, though, the best way I can describe what I'm talking about, not only is it just, like, not really necessary at this point, uh, this is gonna come across a little weird, I don't really know. You changed all my sense. Yeah. This one's mine. You missing a crown there? Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, I actually can't wear that. I don't wear, uh, helmets. They don't fit. Right. Forms, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. I've tried, though. I imagine I could maybe make something. I don't know. I'm pretty good at that kind of thing. Custom design the boots. Don't think anyone else could. I don't know, I've been thinking- well, here's the thing. I've been thinking about customizing a certain helmet that means a lot to me. Um, I just don't see a point in it. Cause I'm going to hit a certain point, pro hopefully some point in the n near future where I'm not going to really need the adjustment anymore. So, I figure so there's really no the point. are going to fall out? <laughs> I don't know if it's worth explaining to you. Oh, do you want to see something really cool, actually? Yeah. Okay. I have a little bit of an ally on, on my side at the moment, not his. And I did, uh, specifically though, me and him tend to make different names for sets of armor. I specifically named this one after him, because I don't want to be associated with what I'm going to do in that armor. I mean, to be honest, though, if anyone should take the blame for a any actions that I take that I deem, you know, not exactly the best, it should be him, right? I mean, <laughs> he's the worst one after all, so... Mm, by him... Yeah. 
I assume you have a name for him? Yeah, I do. I'd move off this platform. It's not supposed to be here. Yeah. So, he tends to go by the name Mace. I don't. I have uh, an extra set of armor hidden in here somewhere. I have everything under his name. Although, you know, I use my own signs, but... Yeah. To be honest, if I'm doing anything that anyone would deem, you know, let's just say unsavory. Mm. I mean, I sh I'm, I'm the good guy. I shouldn't be associated with that, right? It should be him. Yeah. Yes. Behind this wall, there's an extra set of armor and tools that Fair enough. I'm going to use if I have to. Actually, I'll reveal one thing that's in there, though. To give you the least amount of information of what I plan to do with this... Do you want to know how much this is? How many skulls that is? Mm-hmm. I have to say I do. About, about enough for three. Three withers. Still getting more, though. Fair enough. I have enough for two. And you have an extra skull there if you really need one. Mm-hmm. There's also another- there's a hidden room in here somewhere, but it's less important. It's just where I make my potions. Right, so hidden even you can't find it. <laughs> That's not true, I know where it is. It's just behind another wall. But I hate using this sword. Does it have sharpness? Huh? Does it not have sharpness? It does, it's just not mine. Yeah, swords always feel different. And maybe different. <laughs> This armor is not as good as well, but I haven't had as much time to work on my set than he has. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not really around that often. I try to be, but it doesn't always work out in my favor. Fair enough. Uh, if I had to ask, was there anything, literally anything else, that was said today that was of any importance? Um, you can give people items. That's... Alright. Don't really remember anything else, particularly. I mean, I mean, he didn't tell you anything about, like, me, right? No, he just kind of seemed to think you were just you were just kind of sleepwalking or something. Yeah, I want to keep it that way. I don't I don't want him knowing about me. Just just that that doesn't seem very safe, you know. Yeah, I know. Just don't want to let the bad version know the good version undercover. Yeah, he, he doesn't need to know that I exist. He can keep knowing, you know, he can keep thinking he's sleepwalking or whatever for however long, but... I, I listen, me, him knowing me would, exists would, uh, compromise things a little bit. Yeah. 
you kidding me? I blew this up earlier and it's back. Blew it up twice. Oh. Uh, what the heart on top of the hill? I'm not going to specify what I blew up twice, but I blew something up twice. I know something was blown up twice. And I know one thing that was blown up twice and is now back. Well, I'm assuming this is, is this still a crater. Yep. May seem a weird question, but do you sort of fire aspect? Yeah, why? Yeah, just... To be honest, it seems like kind of a disadvantage for fighting Enderman, because they just kind of teleport around everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I have an axe, too. Fair enough. That's what I tend to use for, uh, for Enderman, but... Yeah, I don't know. Should I blow this up again? I kinda preferred the crater, to be honest. You don't like the chickens? Uh, uh I mean, they're okay, but... I don't know, they get in the way. There's not much on top of this hill to get in the way of, so... I'm coming up onto the hill. Yep, yeah, I see you. Yeah, I really need to make a set of pants for this armor. Oh, well, I mean, considering you already know everything else, then this shouldn't come as a surprise. So weather's another thing I can do. Mm -hmm. Compared to changing it from night to day, changing whether it's rain or not isn't exactly a big deal. Yeah. I mean, it's cool for effects, though. I mean, for instance, if I'm, let's say I'm blowing something up or I'm lighting something on fire, you know, doing something like this, for example, adds to the effect a little bit. Yeah. There's a creeper behind you. Okay. Bit late for that. Well, I mean, I didn't see it until it was already pretty much on top of you. Yeah. It just a thunderstorm or just a rainstorm? Thunderstorm. Specifically a thunderstorm, so that... Where's my other trident? Oh, so that I can do this. Let me find a creeper real quick. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna blow someone's house up with a charged creeper, but I'm saying that that's exactly what I'm gonna do, you know? Fair enough. Okay, so I can find the lightning is really fun. Alright, I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little out of it, to be honest. Well, maybe going to my hotel hotel will help a little bit, but uh, whatever. I'm done here anyway, so... Yeah. Alright, so... Those group holes do kind of ruin the property value of this place. Eh, well, I'll patch them up later when I get a chance. Yeah. I don't exactly get a chance often, but... My god, this thing's everywhere. And 
in my mitt. Uh, I will say probably before I end up going, these signs are wrong and therefore I'm taking them down. Fair enough. I assume you're the one who owns that place? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my motel. Mm. And that oh, up there, cool. that's a real piece of work. That's my, uh, my Sky yeah. City I've been working on. Been, uh, renting land out to people. Haven't exactly started yet, but I'm building a lot up there so that I can eventually rent it out to people. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around for, but I will tell you that uh, if you ever need me, just bring him to one of the places I own. Yeah. Okay. He does seem pretty wary of them, though, so that might be easier said than done. Well, I mean, I can give him a little convincing, but, you know. Mm. So you can, like, talk to him? Well, yeah. I mean... Yeah. I guess. I mean, if I need to. I tend to not, though. I mostly just kind of wander around. Fair enough. Wait, wonder where? You're, I, like, wander around in his brain? No, like, I... Right, you don't... Okay. I'm gonna kind of explain to you the general, uh, situation going on with the two of us. Uh, God, th this is gonna sound bad, it's not. I'm open-minded. Sort of like a possession thing. Already figured that much out. Uh, Alright, how much do you know about death? Let's start there. How much do you know about death? When you die, you lose a life, you lose five lives, your body stops working, you don't come back anymore. Some special totems can extend that. Okay, but do you know what happens after that? No, I don't think anyone does. Some people might say they do, but quite frankly, I think they will Okay, if I said I know what happens after you die, would you believe me or not? I would be incredibly skeptical, but I would take it into consideration. Okay, well, uh, I will tell you I'm dead, so... I mean, it's not like a, oh, I'm controlling the other person kind of thing. Like, no, I, I died a very long time ago. So... Did you, like, go to the nether and get stuck there, or...? Um, okay. Most of the time when you die, right? When you lose your fifth life or whatever, uh, you're, that's it. Like, no, no ghosts, no whatever, like, you're just gone. Yeah, just... I found a way around forever. it. You found a way to die without dying. Kind of. So, what happens is the reason there's no ghosts or anything, right, is because you become reincarnated into another person. Normally there's, like, a weird incubation period where, like there's just no person, but eventually you'll be brought back as someone else, you won't remember anything else, whatever. Yeah, Mace is sort of like the next version of me. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, they're called founders, I think. So you're saying you're one of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how much do you know about them? Well, I know they were basically past versions of us. Mine was quite different. He was an alchemist, I believe. 
I mean, do you know any of the others besides yours? No, not. No, I can't say I do. All right. Well. Dang, that's gonna be a pain to clean up later. Anyway, uh. So I'm Maces. Mace is the reincarnation of me, and it's kind of weird to be honest that we exist at the same time, but. I mean, you kind of do, kind of don't, it's in a weird grey area, but yeah, you alternate existing. Uh, yeah. Um. So. I mean, do you at least know the names of the others, or. No, I don't think so. I probably could if I looked into it, but no. Yeah, so, I, um. Let's just say I wasn't very liked for my views. And uh, I didn't die just like naturally or anything. I, I was killed. So that's why Mace referred to the feeling of those of your buildings as thinking about past trauma. Yeah, I... So, I died. Um, found a way to cheat death, and now... I, it, what was supposed to happen was, it, he wasn't even supposed to exist. I was just supposed to come back. As like a sick life, effectively. Pretty much, like an extra set of five. And if I could, and I could have kept it going. If it had worked, I could have kept it going. I could have just basically been immortal. Well, reincarnatory immortal, which is not exactly ideal, but yeah. Yeah, Thinking well, of, of something... Which, does that little... Does that little immortality but have, like, a time limit or something? Like, the incorporeal stuff? Or can you just do that basically forever? I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, the way this works currently, I have no idea the way it was supposed to work was I'd just come back, I'd be fine, and I could just keep it going until the day I died, well, or I guess the day I decided to die. Right. Um, but it didn't work out that way, and now I'm like this. And he exists. Kind of just a half and half. Yeah, I got I got close. I mean, I've gotten closer than anyone else, but yeah. I mean, you don't see any of the other founders running around, but no, but yeah, I do sometimes wonder if some part of them is carried over more than just the spirit. I will tell you. Um, remember how I told you they didn't exactly share my beliefs? I'm going to assume that means you're actually sworn enemies. Yeah, pretty much. Saying we didn't get along was a little bit of an understatement. Yeah, I gathered that much by the whole murders bit. I mean, I, here's the thing. I wasn't in the wrong. Okay, I was right. They were not. I'm gonna go out of the limb and trust you on that. See, exactly. The... They... they God... <laughs> Let's just say, uh, y your whole thing about, oh, more of them may be carried over, yeah, no, their, uh, their reincarnations, a lot of them tend to share, like, little bits of the other person with themselves. I've just sort of managed to amplify it. Alright. Yeah. 
Um, and that's why my plan is to continue doing what I was doing before I died, which is get rid of the rest of them. What, like, shut down the reincarnation cycle completely? Mm-hmm. Just completely obliterate them, whatever, gone. You were really strongly pitted against each other. Yeah, yeah, uh, I was in the right though. I assume I'm not gonna get any context to base my own opinions on that front. I mean, is there any more context that's really needed? No, as in, like, what you're on the right of? Because currently all I have is you were in disagreement. Their belief was everything, you know, everything should be shared, everything, you know, we're, we're gonna build this thing together, it's gonna be great, you know. I mean, we basically made the world you live in. So... Their whole view was like, we'll do it together, we'll, we'll whatever. And then my views were a little different. I thought, okay. Uh, at first it was just, what if we just split off, we had our own little thing going on, we just kind of kept to ourselves. We could still interact, but, you know, just like, getting our own little moment, you know? Yeah, each, each person gets their own time to shine, and then it all comes together in one big event. I don't know. See, that's how it started. And then... You know, it, 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 let's just say my opinion changed a little bit. Um, they didn't agree with me on that, and, you know, I thought, if we can't agree on one thing, then, you know, what's the point of there being more than one person in charge? I mean, I made it to take one of them. I got rid of one of them before I died. Well, technically after. Um... I mean, as you've probably gathered, I, I, uh, I'm a little bit of a problem solver, to say the least. I mean, that's proven by the fact that I'm still here. Yeah, sure. Engineer the line, dude. Yeah, uh, somewhere in a location that I currently do not know is something that I made that has the ability to take all five lives from a person. All five at once. At once, yes. So that weapon theoretically. Would that have been able to kill you if your plan had gone all the way through and you became the pseudo-immortal? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I've never tested it and I don't plan on it. Fair and enough. I hope that no one else would. Yeah, if they can take five lives, they might be able to take more than five, but who knows. But I managed to, um... Uh, I got... I didn't mean to use it. I got a, a bit cornered, to say the least, by one of the other founders, and they tried to kill me, and they succeeded. Uh, before I went out, I managed to get a hit in, though, so... Wait, they're just a single hit? It depends... The amount of time until death depends on how many hits you get in. So, for me, I got in one. And then I died, and now I'm here, but... I got in one, and then, I won't say, maybe a couple days later... Uh... Let's just say... Uh, that founder was no longer my issue. Fair enough. But, I mean, to be fair, I was dead, so nothing was really my issue at that point. 
Yeah, I was just thinking that. Oh, but, really? But, like, if you hit someone with armor, would that just... Would they still die? Well, I mean... From like, what? if you hit someone on the armored section of their body, would it just... From what I remember, this other founder was wearing armor. Right, okay. I really want to know if there's been any research done on the founders. I guarantee you they got me wrong, because I died and they didn't like me, so it's probably biased. Yeah, bias is unfortunate. Back to history. Victory is told... Wit history is told by the victors. God, I'm not that crazy. Okay, then. Uh, I will tell- you know what, I'll give you my name in case you decide to look into me a little more, because I would really like to know, uh, if any of the information written about me anywhere is biased or untrue. Yeah. It's Malachi, by the way. I'll take note. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling this. I don't think I'm gonna be around for much longer. I assume that just walking into your own building again doesn't really slow that down. I mean, probably. Uh, I don't really have anything else I need to do. So I don't see an issue with it at the moment. I mean, sometimes it happens at inconvenient times, though. I mean, yeah. God, Mace has caught himself trying to burn down a building before. That would be... <laughs> I imagine that would be quite embarrassing to experience. Yeah. Thought I had more time than I actually did. How on earth I'm gonna explain this hill to him, though, I have no idea. It's fine, just tell him- just tell him, uh, there was a charged creeper or something, he's stupid, he'll believe it. Hmm, maybe. Oh, I need to go check on my bees. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh, I need to free up my inventory. Wait, what do I have in here? Oh, I don't know where that's from. Anyway. Uh... Bruh, what happened to the path? Yeah, the TNT blew up the path as well. Wait, why was there TNT? No, no, you can't just say that and not explain it. Why was there TNT on the path? No, the mountain. But, okay, but why was it there? Wait, was there more than- Was there more than what I took earlier from the thing? Are you just not going to explain what happened? I'm not. Sorry, this may seem off topic, but I don't think I actually asked. What is your name? M my name? Yeah. Mace, why? Interesting. The guy that blew this up called himself Malachi. Okay, well, uh, uh, I don't know who that is. Is that someone else on the server? It was such a nice well, I hill! I tell, he was your founder. Okay, okay, but my founder's dead, though. Evidently not quite. Don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, nah, nah, something's- Every time- Every time you go into one of his buildings- <laughs> Uh, sorry, I lit my horse on fire on accident. What happened? 
Every time you go into one of his buildings, he takes over your body. That's probably what you experience as the sleepwalking thing. Okay, uh, okay, but that doesn't make sense, though. He found a way to almost cheat death. Also, he is the one writing these signs. Where'd all mine go? Dude! Where'd all my signs go? I don't know, man, that's weird. So, yeah, do you remember taking TNT? What? No. Right, you look in your chest. Which one? I think you put it. Yep. Bruh. Where, wait, where. Where did I get that from? Uh, the black staircase leading up to the room. It's filled with chests of TNT. I haven't even been in there. Wait, how do you know remember about that? Just, remember what I just said? Every time you go into one of the rooms that he made, he takes over your body, so... Yeah. He's quite the narcissist. Uh, Is he? Yeah. He seems to think that individualism is a good guy policy and he really likes a black and red color palette. And that in and of itself screams villain. Oh, I like light colors. I like blue. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm probably gonna just head out, I guess. Yeah, just just a warning, don't go into those buildings you feel bad about, they just, just don't take the chance. Alright, I mean, you're making me kind of curious about it, I'll probably go in later, but, I don't know, I Believe. think I'm, I think I've done a lot of walking around for today, I think I'm, I, wow, I don't know what this chest is, uh, yeah, no, I think I'm, I think I'm good for today, I think I'm gonna get a little rest. Okay. Well, I mean, it was nice talking to you for the, like two seconds, I remember. Do you want me to like put that TNT in your chest back? Because that feels like something that really shouldn't be there. I'll move it on my own. That's really not a good idea, but okay. Well, I mean, I don't have anything I'd use it for, so... No, it's more you going into that room. It just... Yeah. I'll be fine, I'm fine. But yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna get a little rest now. Okay. Alright. <laughs>